right now in Augusta, some lawmakers are tossing around the idea of impeachment after House Speaker Mark Eves accused Governor LePage of blackmail. Eves says the governor threatened to withhold state funds if the Maine Academy of Natural Sciences did not rescind his offer. Eves is not calling for impeachment, but says the governor went too far. This is really, I believe, a true threat to our democracy. The governor has not denied the claims, but issued a statement reiterating that he thinks hiring Eves was hypocritical. The Supreme Court upholding a key part of the Affordable Care Act, affecting 6 million Americans here in Maine. It means 61,000 people will keep receiving the federal subsidies to lower the cost of their insurance. The average monthly subsidy in the state is $337. If the subsidies were overturned, premiums could have skyrocketed 383%. A facelift for a chairlift after the malfunction that left several skiers injured. Sugarloaf is spending $800,000 to replace key components of the King Pine chairlift. They plan to keep the towers and chairs but replace the mechanics. Right now, police are looking for a vandal who snapped off memorial flags lining a bridge in Livermore Falls. They are put out every year between Memorial Day and the 4th of July by a local couple. Police think that it happened on early Tuesday morning. Thanks for tuning into this News 8 update. I'm Erin O'Valley. I'm Norm Conkers. Make sure to check back at WMTW.com and our News 8 mobile app for the top stories of weather anytime. Have yourself a great day.